Welcome back, everyone. Kremlin Archer here. Time for some more... Subnautica. That's what we're playing. Sorry, it took me a second to remember what we were playing. So we're just on the beach here. We were having a, a beach day, you know. Hanging out in the sand, feeling it in our toes, looking at the giant moon and the wreck of the aurora in the distance. Very, very restful, very peaceful. So the thing I wanted to do today... Um, probably we should take all of our junk back to the to our base first. Um... Preacher egg, that's right. Um, was that in the data logs from the, the big alien gun machine, there was this disease research facility that's listed as being at a depth of 700 meters, approximately one kilometer southwest of the enforcement platform. I kind of want to go find that. I think, th I think that's what we're going to attempt to do. I'm not sure if how successful it will be, but I think that's what I'm going to try to do. I'm hoping it actually exists. <laughs> because there are some things that are in this game that are not actually in the game yet. Like the, uh, the schematics and the ability to build a ship to escape. It's mentioned in one of the things that we ha we found. Can't actually do that yet. So, so I'm going to go back to our base, drop off all of our junk, and then we'll head to the where the Cyclops is, and we'll take care, we'll head out again from there. See if we can find what I was looking for. Alright, so we're gonna put our thingies back in here. Which I guess we only had the three. To move out again. Alright, so I've come back to where the Cyclops and Prawn are, are docked. Because I feel like they're going to be a good um, method for figuring out where we need to go. So southwest would be that direction. So we need to go until we're about a, a kilometer away from that, that way. And then we need to go to about 700 meters down and hopefully we can find it I don't know I assume it's in the game there's a wreck down there I'm not sure if we've been to that one or not alright so it should be right about here 700 meters down which would make it underground I'll check this out real quick. I'm sure there's nothing we're missing here. But yeah, to be 700 meters here, where it means we're gonna have to be under the water. Leave me alone, stupid thing. Not under the water, of course be under the water. Under the ocean. Under the ground, under the floor. It's not that hard to say these words. Also, there's a facility, there's a wreck right here, so we should see what we can do with this. Hopefully you have something good for me. Anything? Some water? to that in a second. Nope, wrong one. There we go. I know there are sea caves, and so I'm guessing that that's probably what we need is the sea caves. But the question is how you how do you find the entrance, right? Without getting completely turned around. Signal, nothing, pulsion fragment, that's nothing, alright, so nothing in here, still have that one place that potentially could have something, let's get some air first, 
All right. No, that's a dead end. Okay. I feel like after a while, the the red hot edges should go away. Like, give it a few days. Set it for a few in-game days, make the red-hot edges go away. I mean, I did read that right, right? The facility was built at a depth of 700 meters, approximately 1k southwest of the enforcement platform. And it went southwest, yeah, so it should be basically here, but several hundred meters under the ground. Whoa, whoa, don't run into the rocks. The other option for things to do is to go back to where we were with the Aurora, like to where we, we went down that one like lava tube thing, a deep, deep lava tube, but bring the Cyclops and the Prawn instead with our pressure compensators and just really get down there and see what's down there. That's option number two, which is probably honestly where we're going to end up going here because I am not seeing any kind of entryway. It seems like this might have potential. This is deep. Not sure if it's 700 meters deep. Don't go down there. I suppose if it's down a lava tube. Then we're gonna need the prawn. Can't really tell if it is or not. Back up, back up, back up. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if there's anything actually down those tubes or not, but it seems like the most promising thing we've seen so far. So maybe we need to go get the, uh, the Cyclops and bring the prawn in here. Alright, I guess we'll go do that. Alright, so, a little bit of damage on the ship, that's fine. Um, this is not where I wanted to be. I wanted to see the storage containers. There we go. Dump this palm sea I picked up randomly. And the stuff here. Drink some water. I also got a purple arrow. alien artifact. Because it was lying on the seafloor near where I came in. Alright, so, just because I wanted to make sure this thing works first, we're gonna go in here, and just release. Welcome aboard, we'll hop out, we'll access our upgrade station, which we should be able to put this guy in, right? Crush depth is now 1700 meters, excellent. Now, let's turn the lights off. Oh, not that. Lights off. Makes it more atmospheric that way. Ooh, power's getting a little low. Ooh. There we go. <laughs> It's important to look in your backup rear, your rear view mirror cameras before you go off. Alright, so let's go silent running. And now we're going to go 
Southwest. Which is not this direction. Yeah, go a little west first or else we won't clear the island. I was not going to make you watch this because... I, I, I suppose I can go normal speed until we start getting attacked by things. I'm sorry if I'm um, if I'm basically wasting an episode. Like if this thing doesn't actually exist, and I'm looking for something that doesn't actually exist. Um, I apologize, but you'll have to let me know. Warning: External hull damage detected. I suppose I could have gone on this, the the Subnautica wiki first and checked it out that way, but where's the fun in that? It seems to be as soon as you put it in silent running, they just kind of leave you alone. <laughs> Don't bother you. It's a little bit more... Uh, binary than it probably should be, but I still also don't entirely believe these some of these smaller creatures would be even picking on something this size. Alright, we seem to be back in the mushroom foresty area. Which is not exactly where I wanted to be if memory serves. Or you know, from where we were before anyways. Let's turn around and take a look. Sun's coming up, so hopefully it'll be a little bit easier to see where we're going next. So we're close. Like, see, we're about a kilometer away from the old place right now. Let's go over this way. I think this is the direction we wanted to go. It's hard to remember. It's very hard to find your way underwater. Turns out. <laughs> Alright, so this seems to be the like abyssal shelf kind of place that we were looking at before. Kind of tempted to just get in the prawn. The prawn will move a little faster and won't get annoyed. In fact, I think I'm going to do that. We're going to just go take the prawn. Let's eat a fish first. Drink some water. So prawns won't be won't be as in, get as harassed by the ship. Get harassed by animals as the ship. That's the way I was going with that. What is that? Oh, blood oil. Not sure why it's well, separated from its it. ship, but whatever. Oh, now we're going way down. This is not where I expected to be, but okay. I think I may have found what I was looking for. this direction. What is this place? Where have I ended up? Is this the lost? I've seen references to the lost river. I think that's where I am. I'm in the lost river. Creepy. Yeah, this place is a reference if this is if this is where I think I am, and I'm pretty sure it is. Um, in the real world, there are some places where the seawater separates due to different like salinity levels. Um, 
hop out here real quick and do a repair job. Nope, that's not what I want to do. Yeah, due to different like salinity levels, the water kind of separates, and it ends up looking like there's a like a river underneath the ground. Like a river underwater. It's very cool. What are these things? Unscannable is what they are. Okay. Alright, so we're gonna go for a walk down here and see if we can find this place we're looking for. I don't know if these things are mean. I'd really not find out. You stay away from me. Ah, what's happening? Yes, further down, this is what I was looking for. Just crash through something. Bringing things everywhere I go. Cool. Keep an eye on our energy levels. I mean, you're creepy. Hmm. Well, we're way below 700 meters now. Does not mean we're in the wrong place, though. Just implies it heavily. <laughs> I need to pull some Spider Man shenanigans. How far away from are we from? We're fifteen hundred so we're oh hello. I think I found it, guys. <laughs> Okay, what do we got here? Piece of it's broken. Well, sounds like my kind of thing. <laughs> Alright, come on. Land on the thing so I don't have to do this, climb this whole, be whole building again. Come on, get up there. Get up there. Right, let's just dangle here for a second while our thrust re recharges. Come on, 
and thrust. I don't know why I, I don't know why I think that the uh, entrance is gonna be on the roof, but I do, so here we are. <laughs> These things are cool. Are you are you friendly? Can I scan you? Ghost ray. Seems fairly friendly. Cool. Pretty sure I saw somebody teleporting. Really don't want a teleporter right now. You know, one thing I'm afraid of is I'm going to have to record. I think I need to stop here, actually, um, for today. But I'm going to have to record the next episode right now because I'm afraid that if we stay down here and um, remove our propulsion thing, that this thing's just going to collapse. And if I log out and log back in, my depth thing is going to be gone. So I'll see you guys next time.